Hey everybody, Steve here, and here's all the stories that we're following from the AFR News Desk for May 27th, 2014. Our lead story this week is the announcement that GridZone has been released. Over the Memorial Day weekend, designer Gary Brown released his latest creation, which is an update on his previous hit, Grid Ball. This game uses a dice and charts approach to the game, replacing the previous faxed action cards, and it has a new designation for the star players on the team. However, the game plays very similar to the old game, so if you're a fan of that, be sure you head over to the new website and check it out. And if you never got to play Gridball before, this is a chance to jump on to a really fantastic and free game. The game comes with four sample teams, so you can jump right into the action before you create your own Grid Zone universe. Gary, thanks for another great addition to our tabletop hobby, and we're definitely looking forward to seeing all the new Grid Zone leagues that will pop up here after the game's release. Payoff Pitch Baseball is having a Memorial Day sale that ends tomorrow, that's Wednesday the 28th, and it's $6 for any PDF, and that's any season or any game part. So here's your chance to pick up a new season for the game or to try out the game if you haven't had a chance yet. Over at Replay Games, they now have a pre-order up for the new playbook that's going to be available for their Replay Baseball game. A few weeks ago, we talked about the development of this and that it combines all of the charts into one booklet. And that is set to be shipped out the first week of June. You'll also notice on the Replay website, they now have a new logo, as well as a new box if you pick up the base set for Replay Baseball or their basketball game. Moving over to the Guild Ball website, their latest update, they put out another sculpt. This time it's Angel from the Fisherman's Guild. And this is the last sculpt that's going to be put into the Game Store's demo box. Those demo boxes are set to be shipped out fairly soon. If you have a local game store that you'd like to see that demo box sent to, have them contact the Guild Ball creators over at the Guild Ball website, and I'll post a link to that email below. And finally, another Kickstarter project that we were following here at AFR, and that's the Grip Mats from Break From Reality Games. On May 22nd, they put out an update that the Pledge Manager is now up and that backers will begin to have access to it. However, they're slowly rolling out links to those to the backers. I'm still waiting for mine. And there have been some minor glitches with the system and with people trying to get their mat orders in. However, we're told that most of those have been fixed and that within four to six weeks, everyone should start receiving their mats. They look fantastic. They posted a couple pictures in their last update, and I know that I'm definitely looking forward to upgrading my tabletop here at AFR. And now let's take a look at new releases. Just one company to highlight in this week's new releases, and that's over at Replay Games, where they've put out the 1941 season for the Replay Baseball game. Also, they have a pre-order up for the 1985 season, and that's due to ship on June 16th. And now it's time for the question of the week. Last week, I asked everyone whether they'd like to see a under the hood of replay basketball or soccer blast next, and by a wide majority, everybody said that they wanted to see replay basketball. Thank you to everybody for commenting, and look for that video to come out sometime over the next couple of weeks. And as an old Larry Bird fan, as you can see, I'll be playing a game between the Boston Celtics and the Los Angeles Lakers using the 1985-86 season. So that should be an exciting match to highlight the game in an Under the Hood series. And then also look for a Soccer Blast Under the Hood to be put out sometime close to the June 22nd official release date. For this week's question of the week, I'd like to know what's everyone's favorite historical season to go back and play any sport in any game system. For me, I love picking up the 1990 baseball season 
Um, right now I have it for History Maker Baseball from Play.com. The 1990 season was right in my childhood memory wheelhouse, and it's really great to get some of those old names out on the table. It brings back a lot of fond memories of when baseball was the biggest part of my life, being a 15-year-old. So I'm really interested to hear what everyone's favorite historical season is. Please leave comments below. And now it's time for channel updates. So the next video I'll be working on, as I said, is an under the hood with replay basketball. Look for that to come out in the next couple of weeks. Also, I just wanted to note it was a kind of a neat week as I passed 332 subscribers. I believe right now it's 333. And the reason that's a significant number is the first time in a social gathering that I mentioned what I was doing with my YouTube channel. And at the time I had 32 subscribers. And I remember that number kind of hanging in the air and the person that I was talking to chuckled because it did sound like a really small number. And so it's very satisfying to me, both personally and professionally, to see that now I'm 300 subscribers past that amount. It's been really great growing with you guys, and we're looking forward to bringing you more news and reviews here in the coming weeks. All right, guys, that's all for now. Thank you for watching. My name's Steve, and I'll see you next time after further review.